Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. My name is James Williams Jr. And I'm about to cook me some lunch. This is my special mixture of sugar, cinnamon, vanilla abstract, mist dash, salt, pepper, some real potent stuff. I'm about to pour on this chicken here. This chicken makes real good. This is my grease getting hot right here. So. Always, if you're gonna cook, you should probably make dish water. So if you have any dishes, or if you like, I like to do, I like to wash dishes as I go. That way, everything will go right, even if y'all can't see me. I actually was supposed to prep all this stuff beforehand. Which goes back to even if y'all can't see me, there's the dish water running there. I'm not cooking a lot of chicken because I'm probably going to make this stuff again for dinner tonight. You guys probably aren't going to like this, but I'm going to like it, and hopefully I won't burn it. So, so I should let you all know as a single man, this is very important. Did you know how to fucking cook? And since I'm probably going to be single until I'm dead. Oh, crap. The thing has a hole in it. Mother dick. Well, I didn't make a mess, so that's good. But anyway, <laughs> as a single man, every man should know how to cook. All right? It may save your life one day. So as a single man, you might want to learn how to cook. I said call that for two reasons. I had a bad feeling growing up that I'll probably always be single. And two, motherfucker gotta eat. Oh, I forgot the true reason why I said call that. There's girls in there. No. There's a rumor going around that women like men that can cook. There's a reason why they call that shit rumors. Now always remember in a professional setting to wear your fucking hair net. And the only person that's going to be eating this is me and it's my hair. Henceforth again though, in a professional setting. You want a hair net. You don't want your hair over your eyes. You don't want your hair over your food. Because that could be bad. It could be bad on so many levels. And you might lose your fucking job. Anyway. I'm going to try not to burn my concoction. Clearly the grease is not hot enough. Because there's not enough sizzle. But that's alright. Because I'm still going to eat it. Yeah, you should probably use a fork instead of doing this dumb shit with your finger, like I'm doing, because hot grease burns. I have some specific utensils that I use to cook. This one, so I can get the small pieces out. This one, so I can get the big pieces out. You know. Now I gotta wash dishes real quick. We'll turn the thing over here so you can still see me wash dishes. No. I don't know why I'm washing the other thing that has a hole in it. So I'm going to wash it and then toss it. There's no point of keeping something that you can't use anymore. Especially since it has a fucking hole in it. Alright. There's the hole. Put 
Excuse me. Damn it. Sorry, I went a little black there. <laughs> so now we're back on cooking here. As you can see, there's the chicken. It's cooking, cooking, cooking. No. Let me turn the oven up. You know, it's like Days of Our Lives is on. So I kind of want to have this meal so I can eat it while Days of Our Lives is on. So I want to show you guys that I can cook a little bit. And, you know, I'm going to eat that as soon as it's done. And I only have to wash two dishes. Oh, I got one. Paper plate. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Ah, you bastards. They hate the ranch dressing. Best dressing for chicken, ever. Some of y'all like that crap on pizza. I'm not that big on pizza. I like pizza, see the shirt, but anyway. My favorite meat source is chicken and pork. Don't really like ranch dressing on pork that much. I'll eat it, but I prefer to just have it on chicken. And that chicken I showed you is pretty much already cooked. I used to, um, we fry it with butter and flour and stuff like that. But then it started making me sick. And rather than give it up, I found a better way. Well, another way. I wouldn't really say it was a better way because I missed the crisp of like fried chicken with it. You know, you fry it long enough, it'll cook up real good. It's better to use it like on, um, a hot plate or something. You can put the top on it and you can cook both sides and not do as much flipping. No. One of these damn things. My late father and I used to make this stuff. He would specifically go to the store and I'm like, Look, give me some of that chicken. And he's like, the chicken, that's it, yeah, the chicken and the green pack. No, I show him the green pack, no. He'd go get the chicken, i cook it up, and sometimes he would cook it up, and he was actually a chef for a long time, so he actually cooked it better than I cooked it. I never got sick off his chicken. I only got sick off of mine. Anyhow, the long and short is, you know, you have to eat. So, if you're a single man, it is very imperative that you know how to cook. You don't have to sing, but you at least have to know how to cook. Because if you know how to cook, you're pretty much halfway there in life. So, cook, keep your ass clean, keep your teeth clean, and you'll be fine. You know, and get a better job than cleaning toilets. Yo, know, but any job is better than no job. So now I gotta put it back over. And I'll show you guys. I kinda burnt that little piece there. All right, when I'm trying to fire down, you're gonna hear an ouch in a minute because the grease is gonna pop. We don't like that. And there you go. It's already done. I was like, done. Like, gonna make it a little bit more done without burning it completely, which is why I'm about to cut the stove off right now. And I always remember that, you know, you have to clean up your mess. Kind of want to save the flavor. You also want to get it up off the eye before it gets like incredibly done. Or as they say in some movies, I made it Cajun. That's that black term for that shit just burnt. Yeah. So we don't really want that to happen.
this slide for Cajun. But it's gonna taste real Cajun when it get in my damn stomach. Put it on this pan first, so I can get all the greasy overtones out. You know, so it's not that bad. You know, it's really not that bad. Yes, yeah. always make sure your hands are clean. Always, mother dick. <laughs> He's hit the floor. Somebody wanted that. Just to show you, it did actually hit the floor. hell is it? There it is. Come here! Eat that chicken. Yeah, knock yourself out. She's gonna eat the chicken. She's camera shy. Alright, so this is Comfort Havoc 2. It's been 11 minutes and 15 seconds. And I'm done with showing you guys how to cook.